and it was the hardest song because I talk a lot about what I went through during the trial and a lot of um, unloyal people and a lot of things I've gone through. So, you know, it was hard. What? He was good right. at manipulating you to get you to do what he wanted you to do. Some people haven't evolved past 16. They still stuck in that place. In a realm where relationships can turn sour and love can quickly transform into hate, one infamous duo caught everyone off guard, Lil Kim and Jay-Z. Their once seemingly perfect connection left the world in shock when it all came crashing down, with Lil Kim publicly proclaiming that she felt utterly betrayed by Jay. So what exactly happened between Jay-Z and Lil Kim? You see, these two New York natives had a connection that ran deep, dating all the way back to their childhood days in the gritty streets of the city. Their friendship evolved into a passionate love affair that had the hip hop scene buzzing with excitement. From 1998 to 2000, Jay-Z and Lil' Kim were the ultimate power couple. It all began during the height of Jay-Z's career with the mega hit Hard Knock Life Ghetto Anthem and came to an end with the release of his album, The Dynasty Rock La Familia. Meanwhile, the Queen Bee entertainment mogul herself was making waves in the fashion industry, modeling for prestigious companies like Candies and Baby Fat. They were the talk of the town, capturing the attention of fans and media alike. But alas, their fairy tale romance took an unexpected turn, leaving Lil' Kim feeling heartbroken and betrayed. Rumor has it that Jay-Z made the shocking decision to end things with Kim, leaving her shattered and questioning everything they had shared. And to add insult to injury, he eventually moved on and married none other than the fierce and talented Beyonce in 2008. The betrayal was a bitter pill to swallow and Lil' Kim couldn't help but feel abandoned and discarded. But the drama didn't stop there. As Lil' Kim navigated the treacherous waters of the hip-hop industry, she found herself embroiled in a heated feud with fellow rapper Foxy Brown. The fiery rivalry captured headlines and had fans eagerly taking sides. But what shocked Lil' Kim even more than her feud with Foxy was the fact that Jay-Z failed to stand by her side. Instead of supporting his alleged former flame, he remained silent, leaving Lil' Kim feeling even more alone and betrayed. You see, the feud between Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown reached unprecedented levels of intensity. Both artists released their debut albums within a week of each other, creating a fierce competition, not just in terms of sales but also in the eyes of fans and the media. Lil' Kim's debut album skyrocketed to incredible heights, selling over 6 million copies and achieving double platinum status. Meanwhile, Foxy Brown's album also garnered significant success, featuring collaborations with major rap stars such as Method Man and Jay-Z himself. The competition and constant comparisons only intensified the brewing rivalry between the two divas. Despite the public rivalry, Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown initially considered themselves friends. In fact, Brown even praised Lil' Kim on the title track of her own album. However, their friendship started to unravel when they were offered a lucrative deal to collaborate on an album titled Thelma and Louise. Shockingly, both artists turned down the opportunity, signaling a deepening feud between them that would soon erupt into a full-blown war. As the 90s came to a close, the tension between Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown spilled over into their music. Lil' Kim took the first swing with her scathing song Play Around, where she enlisted the help of hip-hop mogul Diddy to throw some serious shade at Brown, Diddy's lyrics, Stop Trying to Sound Like Her Too, were widely interpreted as a direct attack on Brown's style and persona. Not one to be outdone, Lil' Kim upped the ante on her sophomore album, aptly titled The Notorious Kim. On the album's title track, she directly referenced Foxy Brown and her crew, cementing her position as the reigning queen and escalating the feud to unprecedented levels. Foxy Brown, never one to back down from a fight, fired back on Capone and Norega's album with a track aptly titled Bang Bang. Brown even mimicked Lil Kim's flow from a previous song and mercilessly mocked her for publicly mourning the loss of Biggie, Lil Kim's former lover. The rivalry between the rap divas reached its boiling point on February 25, 2001, when an explosive altercation erupted outside New York's Hot 97 radio station. Lil Kim and her crew came face to face with Foxy Brown's associate, Kiam Capone Holly, and his entourage. What started as a war of words quickly escalated into a physical confrontation, resulting in one of Capone's crew members sustaining an injury. Rumors swirled that the incident was a direct result of Foxy Brown's provocative diss track, Bang Bang, aimed at Lil Kim. In an attempt to mend the broken relationship, Foxy Brown publicly expressed her desire to reconcile and collaborate with Lil' Kim, suggesting they were bigger than their differences. 
However, it seemed that Lil' Kim wasn't interested in burying the hatchet, reportedly ignoring Brown's apology and leaving the possibility of reconciliation in doubt. At the time, Brown released a statement saying, I really don't know how it started, but Russell Simmons and I, we got together and I said, Russell, I want to call a truce. I want to have a sit down with Kim. I don't care what it is. Let's just end it. We can even do a collaboration. We're bigger than this. If it has to start with me, let it start with me. Initial police reports indicated Kim left the scene prior to the Hot 97 incident. However, later investigations determined she was inside her limousine at the time and that the vehicle departed with others implicated in the occurrence. The rapper previously told the police that she did not know why things went south that day. Additionally, Kim claimed her manager Damien Butler was not at the scene. However, security footage showed Butler was, in fact, present. On March 17, 2005, Kim was convicted on charges of perjury and conspiracy for lying to investigators and to a federal grand jury. The potential sentence loomed at a daunting 20 years, but Lil' Kim received a comparatively lighter punishment of 366 days in prison and three years of probation. She served her entire sentence, completing her time behind bars on July 3, 2006. Yet the feuds didn't stop with Foxy Brown. Another rising star, Nicki Minaj, found herself entangled in a bitter rivalry with Lil' Kim. Rumors circulated that Minaj had planned a controversial event, staging a service for Lil' Kim with a lookalike. The speculation fueled the already simmering tensions between the two rap sensations. However, Minaj ultimately backed out of the plan, denying any involvement and dispelling the rumors surrounding the proposed event. Lil' Kim's career faced numerous challenges and setbacks that contributed to its downward trajectory. While her tumultuous relationship with Jay-Z and the feuds with Foxy Brown and Nicki Minaj played a role, other factors weighed heavily on her success. One of the most tragic aspects of Lil Kim's life is the enduring impact of abuse, which left her with deep-rooted insecurities and a persistent struggle with low self-esteem. Growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood, she became a target of relentless bullying from her peers, especially those who conformed to conventional beauty standards. These experiences took a toll on her sense of self-worth and influenced her relationships with men, who often reinforced negative perceptions of her appearance. Despite her confident public persona, Lil Kim openly admitted to grappling with feelings of inadequacy and struggled to see herself as beautiful. The relentless pressure to conform to society's unrealistic beauty standards pushed Lil' Kim toward a series of drastic and widely scrutinized plastic surgeries. While she initially attributed these procedures to the mistreatment she endured, she later revealed that she pursued them to fulfill her personal desires for transformation. Lil' Kim admitted to being a perfectionist and having a deep longing to feel like a movie star, which drove her to invest in expensive clothes and undergo various physical alterations. Regardless of the controversies surrounding her choices, it is essential to respect Lil' Kim's autonomy in making decisions about her own body. Lil' Kim's difficult childhood and fractured family relationships also contributed to her career struggles. Verbal abuse from her father and the instability caused by her parents' separation created a turbulent environment for her. As a teenager, she even found herself living on the streets, enduring violence and relying solely on her own strength and resilience. These experiences undoubtedly had a profound impact on her emotional well-being and stability, presenting ongoing challenges as she pursued her music career. To make matters worse, the loss of her mentor, friend, and lover, the legendary Notorious Big, further intensified Lil' Kim's struggles. Biggie's untimely death in 1997 left a gaping void in her life as he played an instrumental role in her success. Biggie was not only her partner but also her confidant and guide, shaping her artistic development and providing invaluable guidance. The grief and heartache stemming from his loss fueled her subsequent album, The Notorious Kim. Working on the album without Biggie's presence was undoubtedly a challenging process, but Lil' Kim acknowledged his profound influence on her career and the irreplaceable impact he had on her life. It's undeniable that Lil' Kim has been dealt a cruel hand by fate, and fans can't help but feel sorry for her. It saddens me when people make fun of her journey. It's disgusting. I love Kim, one fan commented, and another one added, So sad. I never knew Kim had such a rough life, and she was beautiful before the surgery. I can't imagine why anyone would make her feel ugly. My heart breaks for her every time I see her, because people in her life made her feel so bad about herself that she felt it necessary to become a completely different person, looks-wise. In any case, if Jay-Z had truly been a loyal friend and lover, he would have shielded her from the relentless barrage of problems that have haunted her throughout her troubled past.
But alas, it seems that Jay-Z's true colors were revealed as he stood by and watched Lil' Kim suffer, leaving her to face the storms of life all on her own. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.